my name is Sal and today I will show you how easy it is to start developing Angular applications with Angular IDE. Let's get started. Let's click on File, New, Angular Project. Here we specify the name of the project. Angular IDE allows you to specify which version of Angular CLI, Node and NPM to use for the project. Let's use the default settings. Angular IDE takes care of downloading the specified node and npm versions if needed. After the project is created, you can launch the application by selecting the project in the server view and clicking on the start server button. We can monitor the application state in this view too. The application is running. Let's debug it by clicking on Debug Application in Chrome. Now it shows up the application in the browser, along with Code Life for Angular on the right side. Code Life helps with identifying the structure of the application by showing the components that are rendered in the page. Currently, we only have the app component. We can also use the code live magic wand to identify what component is rendering a specific part of the page by hovering over the content. Congratulations! You have created a new Angular app, but this is only the start. Angular IDE has more features to help you develop this new Angular project into a full-fledged app, like these ones. Chatroom is a travel diary app. You can use it to document and create an itinerary for your trips. Echoes is a YouTube player that makes fun and easy to listen or watch videos. What if YouTube was designed to be used as a music player? SoundCloud NGRX gives you an alternative but simple UI for using SoundCloud. Angular 2 HN it's a hacker news client that has an incredible performance as it uses service workers to handle data with or without network. It works well on mobiles thanks to its responsible UI.